Now we have 19% uh, of the world's arable land is in Brazil. And of the total land we have, we only use until now 12%. So there's still 88% to be used to reach this 19% of the whole world's arable land. So this is one factor. The other factor of competitiveness is that we have uh, invested a lot in tropical uh, agricultural technology. So um, we know uh, how to use soil, how to use the crops, and uh, this is a second factor. The third factor is that we have, uh, and we will always have cheap labor, because this is unfortunately, we have 170 million inhabitants. We have lots of them without uh, employment, and uh, any opportunity uh, is important for them. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have the, the minimum wage, the minimum salary, and if you pay it, it's already enough for a person to live and to have food, and mm -hmm. uh, so we have a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Another factor that we can tell is related to uh, technology that was uh, taken to Brazil by the multinational supply companies companies in uh, tractors, in irrigation, in fertilizers, in defensives. Uh, the same technology that a Canadian farmer has, we have over there also happening. So uh, these, um, the costs of land also are cheaper than uh, in other uh, more, more uh, developed countries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also uh, plenty abundance of water to be used and water is a uh, uh, scarce resource in the future. So these, uh, these factors may be all together in uh, education and the good farmers, traditional farmers, mm -hmm. made Brazil uh, grow a lot in the last uh, 10 years in the commodity supply. So we are now number one in, uh, in beef in the world. And it's incredible, we are number one in beef having access only to 39% of the market. 61% of the beef market is closed to Brazilian exports due to protectionism and several other barriers. Number one in orange juice with more than 80% of the world's market share in coffee, in poultry, um, in, in uh, soya bean complex. Mm -hmm. We are already reaching the, the first position in exporters. So in commodity, we have done a nice job and we, also, we, we have a lot to do uh, if you take a look that we have uh, more than 150 million hectares uh, of good land still to be used. We lack of infrastructure, it's very difficult, but we have a lot of land. I think one of, uh, maybe this is also important mm -hmm. to remember, one of, uh, one of uh, responses of society towards the concentration of companies and losing jobs and what's happening is towards uh, cooperative movement. I see in Brazil the cooperatives are, are more accepted now and people are more uh, wanting to do things together. So we have to link cooperatives, Canadian cooperatives to Brazilian cooperatives, supplying and buying in order to react to, let's say, is uh, neoliberal or, or is huge corporations and we can be small using the cooperative and then being big mm -hmm. to fight in this market. So mm -hmm. I think this is the central message. We have to do things more together in order to try to keep uh, people working, uh, people on farms and their kids also on the farms. It's very difficult for mm -hmm. to maintain a kid in the farm. He prefers to live here in Calgary than to be inside a farm because the all social life is here. But there is a way to keep more people and the cooperatives are of fundamental importance for that, I think so. If you think in a positive way, there's always a win-win situation for Canadian and Brazilian companies to interact. So uh, what we need and uh, one of my objectives of being here is to build more bridges because uh, we are uh, too much segmented. We, we should build more bridges among society in order to improve uh, welfare and improve... Uh, uh, we have a lot to learn with your society and we have some things that can be learned also over there. So this complementarity, I think it's, uh, it has to be more explored. Mm -hmm. We 
should not sleep and you should work.